I'm Ben Cosgrove, I'm a Senior Project Coordinator at Armour RC, and this is the Craton 8S. The Craton 8S features four heavy-duty oil fill shock absorbers with tough 5mm shock shafts. You can adjust the ride height with threaded shock collars, you screw them clockwise to increase the ride height and anti-clockwise to decrease the ride height. The standard setting on the car is 5mm preload on the front, 7.5mm preload on the rear. To remove your shock absorbers you need a 3mm hex driver. You have two screws you need to remove, the bottom screw. and the top screw on the shock tower. Once these are removed, the shock just slides straight out. To rebuild your shock absorbers on the Creighton 8S, first you need to remove the spring. You pull the spring perch up, press, pull the spring back, and remove the perch, followed by the spring, and then you're left with a shock assembly. To access the oil in the shock absorber, you need to remove the shock cap. Now you will see the red diaphragm on the top of the shock, and you can remove this. Now, you need to empty the shock oil. The Creighton 8S has 500 CST oil in all four shock absorbers. If you want to tune the shock oil, you can do. You can go thinner, which will be a little bit better over the bumps and the ruts or you can go thicker, which will be better for landings. In our extensive testing, 500 CST was the best all-round performance. To refill your shock, you need to take the 500 CST oil and fill up the body. Fill it up to the top and you will see there's already air bubbles from the oil. The next phase is to pump the shock and then you need to wait for the air to escape the oil. Once the bubbles have escaped, you need to push the shock shaft quite a long way up. So you want to be leaving typically around a finger's width. Then you place your diaphragm onto the top. You want to press it down so that the oil escapes the excess at the top. Holding the lip back on the side to make sure that there's no air inside. This can be a little bit tricky so take your time. Make sure it's seated correctly. All the oil is out. Once this is seated, you take your shock cap, slowly align it at the top. And screw it back on, making sure it is nice and tight. Get some cloth to clean up the excess oil. This is a very uh, messy step. Once it's cleaned up a little, you then have your rebuilt shock absorber. Once your shock is filled, then you need to put the spring back onto the shock, slide it over, and then install the spring perch. This can be a little tricky, especially in this view. Make sure that the spring is seated correctly inside. 
and then the location tab on the shock end clicks in and then you've now got a nice secure seated spring on the spring perch and your shock is ready to install back onto the vehicle. To reinstall your shock absorber onto the vehicle you need to take the shock and place it both into the suspension arm and into the shock tower. You will have two screws one is the short 30 millimeters which goes into the bottom for the wishbone so put this on line it up take the longer screw the 35 millimeters and place it into the top and then take your three millimeter hex driver and reinstall the screws. And then your shock absorber is fitted back on the vehicle. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to learn more about the Kraton 8S, then check out the links in the description box below. See you next time. Arma RC, designed fast, designed tough.